Hello stampers and crafters. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah McGuire from Sassy Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today's project is this one. It is a super cute treat holder that holds one of these peppermint bark snowmen. We're going to be using the Snowy Wonder bundle to make it a, a as well as a couple other Stampin' Up! products. So if you would like to see how to make this really cute treat holder, please keep watching. So to make our treat holder, the first thing we're gonna do is some stamping. Like I said, we are using the Snowy Wonder Bundle from Stampin' Up! This has 20 photopolymer stamps and coordinating dies to make all kinds of really cute projects. The snow globe dies are really adorable. Um, you can head over to sassypapercrafts.com to see how I've been using this bundle this week. I'm just going to set these aside. I already have all the stamps out that I'm going to be using. We're going to be using the snowman, the hat, season's greeting, and the candy cane. I also have pulled the humble home stamp set to get this to and from for the back of our cards. I'm just going to set these aside and we're going to start with our stamping. So I just have a scrap piece here of basic white. I'm going to grab my real red and my Memento ink pad. First we're going to do our snowman. We're going to use Memento ink for that. I'm just going to ink him up. Stamp straight down, straight up. And we're going to die cut them out so it doesn't really matter where you put them. Before we put that away, we're going to need a hat. I'm going to ink this up. The hat there. And then in real red, we are going to do our sentiment. Open that up. And get our season's greetings. I think I'm going to grab another piece because we're going to be cutting this out of the nested essentials dies. I have this one here. So that should be big enough. Stamp that. And then our candy cane can go on this one. It's little. And then I have the piece for the back of our treat here for the to and from right here. We're going to stamp that also in real red. You can find all the measurements and all the supplies I've used on my blog. There's the link in the description of this video. It will take you directly to the blog post. You don't have to look around. No searching for anything. There's also a supply list listed at the bottom of the description of the video. We're going to die cut our snowman. We're going to die cut our hat our candy cane, and our sentiment. This is all ready to go. I'm going to put my real red ink away. Before I die cut my snowman, though, I want to color that carrot nose. I just have my dark pumpkin pie Stampin' Blend. I'm going to color that in. You could also use a Stampin' Right marker if you have one. Color that in orange. So I'm going to die cut our pieces, and then we can put our treat holder together. Now that I have all, all my pieces die cut, we're ready to put our treat holder together. I did forget to mention that I die cut two labels from the Greetings of the Season dies. These are tags and we're going to use these as the base of our treat holder. I also have my Take a Bow designer series paper and we're going to use this candy cane peppermint looking side. I have another piece here and we're going to use that. So we're going to put our um, base together first. Now you can kind of tell that there's an uh, inside and an outside. So the outside has the stitching punched through it. The inside you can tell where it's kind of raised up. So I'm going to make sure that we're putting our little mechanism here on the inside. Again, all the measurements are on my blog, sassypapercrafts.com. Click the link in the description of this video to head right over there. And for this, I'm going to use a little bit of Seal Plus. So I'm just going to run a little bit of this along the back and kind of eyeball it. There's no real precise placement. 
And then I'm gonna take a little bit of regular seal and put one little piece down and get our chocolate. I just found it was easier to put the chocolate in <laughs> right away. And grab the seal plus again and take, make sure you have the inside piece. And what I did was I lined up the holes and then just kind of made sure these are all lined up before I pushed down. So like that. So that is all lined up. I'm going to move that a little bit. There we go. That is all lined up. Maybe you don't want to put that in first. <laughs> that is lined up though. It doesn't look like it, but it is. Now we're going to take our pieces here. I'm going to get a little more of that seal. And then you can decide what you want to be the front and what you want to be the back. I think I want that to be the front and that to be the back. As our to and from, we're going to flip that over. I'm going to kind of build this as I go. It's a little bit easier that way. I think what happened is my little mechanism kind of flattened out, and that's why it's not lining up properly. I'm just going to kind of peel that off without destroying it. Do that. And then we will build our tag here. I'm going to put two dimensionals on here. I'm going to put, I'm going to put one up on the snowman and then another one kind of close to it because if you notice he hangs off the bottom a little bit which is what I wanted, but I don't want to have any adhesive popping out. I'm just going to layer that that way. Before I take the um, backing off that, I do want to take a little bit of liquid glue to put on his hat. And I mean a little bit. You do not want glue going everywhere. Just put a little on the top of his head there and then put on his hat. Now I'll take off the backing. I don't want to cover up my greeting. And then I'm just going to take a little bit more of this liquid glue. Tiny dab on our candy cane. That's kind of at the bottom. And now let's work out. This is crooked. That's what happened. Let's work out what's going on here. So I'm going to put a little more seal plus. Do that. And without the peppermint bark, and we will line up our pieces. There it goes. And I just like to flip it over, and make sure it's really in there. And that little piece of adhesive just kind it doesn't stick to it. They can still get it out. It just kind of holds it in place. So I'm going to take some of the red and white um, baker's twine from the September to December mini catalog. This one I tied like a knot in. I'm going to tie this one just a little bit differently. So what I want to do is feed that through. I want to tie my knot up here so it creates like a loop. You, that way you could hang this from a tree, you could hang this somewhere, and it's easier to open. The way I did it the first time is just fine, but it's kind of hard to get open. Like you'll have to, you'd have to cut that. I'll grab my paper snips, cut our twine here. I kind of left a little bit of a long loop there like i said you could make it into like an ornament you could hang it and it opens just a little bit if you wanted to close that you could take a tiny bit of seal on the side there and then what i like to do is touch it a couple of times so it's not as sticky and then you could close that there and it stays closed that way 
Now we're going to decorate it. And I have a couple of the real red and white peppermints. Grab my take your pick tool. And I just added two of them because we had the candy cane, which is kind of an embellishment. I'm going to do two of the little ones, which is an embellishment in and of itself. I just thought it looked better doing two. And that is our project. So I hope you enjoyed today's project. Again, if you would like to see more projects using the Snowy Wonder Bundle from Stampin' Up, head over to my blog, sassypapercrafts.com. You can click on the link in the description of this video to head straight to this blog post to get all the supplies, all the measurements. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.